before we get into that, I'd love to just actually analyze the numbers. And I know you mentioned you looked at this too, so this is probably pretty fresh for you. A couple of things that I noticed right off the bat. Number one, average order value of about $100. That's definitely pretty good. Uh, overall conversion of 1.5, that's exactly like where we want you to be, like between 1.5 and 2. There's obviously a little bit more room for improvement there, but definitely like a pretty good start. Really prevalent that you guys are getting most of your orders from Australia, like 60%, like you mentioned, and then 40%. Yeah. Um, like from the from the US or like other parts of the world and then Instagram's like a huge huge uh, Referral source for you guys. So we definitely want to like start to target that in its own way um, And definitely you guys are getting a lot of mobile traffic uh, versus desktop yeah. traffic. That's all the good things What are like some of the concerns biggest concern? And I think you know this is one in five people that add an item to the cart are making it to purchase That means that 80% of the people are not uh, and that's massive Right, so what I did is I just like, just to make this a little bit easier for us to actually digest, I've just put this in an Excel spreadsheet, broke it down into like 30 day increment. So you can see here, you know, you guys are getting around 6% of your traffic to add an item to the cart, one and a half to actually check out. So how much have you guys lost? And so this is just in 30 days, you guys lost 2000 orders right from cart to checkout that's all like that's at your average order value that's over two hundred and twenty thousand dollars um there's a couple of reasons that's happening and we're gonna dissect that here in a second but very conservatively i definitely think you guys should be recovering at least five percent of those orders and we can even offer some sort of discount and you guys could easily be recovering like ten thousand dollars in orders in just 30 days and even if we're more conservative and say only one percent of those people are recovered that's still like two thousand dollars in orders that you guys could easily easily be turning around so can you talk to me a little bit more on your card abandonment sequence right now do you guys offer a discount on that sequence not at the moment as far as i'm aware i don't actually think there is a, a follow-up email that goes with an abandoned card oh wow yeah that's why i think the drop off so high definitely let's actually walk through that and like you know go through a couple of things here so number one i went in and shopped like as if i was gonna shop on your website not like looking at any faults right so i went in i clicked on men's i saw this shirt here that i actually really liked so yeah. i picked the hairy stripe t-shirt um, I picked it in a large and I added it to the cart, right? So now I'm actually three pages in. I'm likely like five clicks into the website. I've probably spent like two minutes on the website, right? Yeah. This is where that shift needs to happen on your side. You need to start thinking, okay, this person is engaged. They're likely the closest person to be paying us. As soon as they start taking the next action, we need to treat them differently. Now yeah. the problem is, that you guys don't get any information from them on this page, which we saw in 90 days almost had 10,000 page views on it. You have no information yeah. if I leave here. Um, and then really, the only place you do get a little bit of information is on the fifth page now, and likely mm -hmm. like 10 clicks in, and if I decide to actually give you my email. Um, yeah. And so we need to like take a step back there and think like, hey, how can we fix that? What we've seen work really well is actually doing a cart abandonment pop up as early as the cart in the funnel. So that means if someone leaves this website here, you guys should be offering them at least a chance to, to get a discount or to give their email so you guys can actually remarket to them. Let me, let me just walk you through like really quickly how that works. So, yeah. you know, like for you guys, you know, we're on this page here. We can actually yeah. target the slash cart. So we're gonna say if that person is on slash cart and likely if they're on a second and greater page view, now what we're gonna do is we can actually track their cursor. And if they leave the screen here, we're gonna show them a pop-up like this. Uh, yeah, wow. And so the idea here is, you know, the, the pop-up is like awesome and I definitely think you guys will be able to use that. Um, but what we can do here is we can actually like offer them some sort of discount and we can yeah. use language like this, hey, check out in the next two hours and receive 10% off your discount. And what yeah, we do is we actually integrate with Shopify so that's a unique discount code, only they can use it and we can even yeah. track if they've used it so we can do a, a card abandonment sequence. So I know I just did a ton of talking there. What, what do you think of that? 
Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, like you said, there's obviously a huge room for improvement with the whole abandoned cart. Like you said, it's a, it's a huge figure financially to uh, to have dropping off and not chasing up with sort of any sort of lead. So yeah, that's definitely number one. And you know, I would argue that that's probably the, the most important thing. That you, like if you take one thing away from your call, definitely like mm -hmm. what you mentioned, like recovering, you know, 200,000 plus dollars in sales that have been lost there. Number two is going back to the stats here, you know, you guys are actually doing pretty well with like 6%, almost 7% of the people adding an item to the cart. But yeah. there still is 93% of the people that are not adding an item. They're likely just coming in from Instagram or coming in from like maybe organic or like even direct. And they just need to like be educated, right? And so you guys obviously have a newsletter. How often are you guys emailing that newsletter? Uh, probably twice, uh, maybe three times a week. Got it. And like you mentioned, you know, you guys right now, the only way I can get on that email list is if I go all the way down to the bottom. So you guys are offering this $10 voucher to use on your first purchase of $100, which is great. But you know, you guys are really only getting, if we, if we look back at the stats, you know, you get like 45,000 unique visitors per month and you're really only getting like 150 emails per month, that's like less than half of 1% of people that are giving you an email. Industry standard says that you should be at like at least 3%. So you guys should be like almost 10Xing uh, the number of emails you guys are collecting. The way to do that is to really think about like specifically for you guys, how can you be super strategic in asking for that email so you're not annoying your visitor. The number one thing that I noticed is you guys have a mobile, a lot of mobile traffic. A lot of them are coming from Australia and a good amount are coming from Instagram. So likely what we would do on the front end is we were going to have one pop up for all mobile visitors are coming from Australia. One pop up for all desktop visitors are coming from Australia because that is going to be you can be a little bit more aggressive. There's more screen space and then a third pop up for people coming directly from Instagram. And that messaging is going to be similar to what you guys have from Instagram. Maybe you guys do a giveaway that's exclusive for Instagram and you're going to give away a hundred dollar shopping spree or something like that. All that can be done within Sumo. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, these guys pistol lake, just to kind of show you what the pop-up looks like on mobile. You can see they have a very mobile specific pop-up here and that's performing super, super well for them. They have it come in. Uh, they essentially say like, we want it to only come in at the 35% mark. Um, and you can see they get about 5% of their traffic to actually give them their email there. They also have a different one that's specific for desktop. So you can see this one is going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to come up after 15 seconds on the website versus someone scrolling down on the page. Also, like in terms of return on investment, you guys vary at the very minimum, you should be getting like at least a 6x return on investment.